Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well and today we're gonna start on our double page from Lost Ocean. I hope you enjoy it. I had permission from the Brazilian artist who I got inspired from. She, Her name is Gabriela Lima and she's a very talented artist. She allowed me to um, use some of her techniques and ideas on this page. And I'm going to be using my Mondeluz set, Koino. Although they are watercolor pencils, I'm not I'm not quite sure if we're going to use the, them as watercolor. I have already um, separated my pencils. Yeah. So it's black, dark blue, medium blue, light green and aqua green. And we are going to work on these little plants here. Okay? Right. So uh, remember we talked about light and light effects on a on a on the image you're coloring. So you always have to think which side uh, is my shadow going to be, right? So on this picture I'm going to do the shadows on the left. So I'm going to start the petals of this plant coloring them in black. And you can go very strong at first, and then going lighter, right? So I'm going to do this in all the petals. Strong, and then light. Okay, another trick. That I'm gonna show you is since we have got five colors to go in these petals I always use the, the first and the last color so I have a notion of the space I have in between the, the two so this is gonna be my dark side <laughs> and this is gonna be the lighter one yeah so I'll do that you do the dark side and then the light see so now I know I can use this space with my other three colors so maybe this is not very uh, wide too wide so I might extend the black so it, this is a good tip I suppose for you who uh, want to know want to have a better notion right so I'm gonna do this and then get back to you okay Alright, so now let's go to our next color, which is the dark blue, and I'll go 
here where the, the black stops, you can go over a little bit and then keep going. Since this is opening up, you don't have to do much on at the bottom, but go make it wider at the top. You have to follow the space you've got, yes? Little bit darker here because same thing here, it's not very let's open this up. see that I'm using a lot of pressure to cover the, the black but then I'll go a little bit lighter when I'm moving away from the black area. Sometimes I see people saying, oh no, it's looking horrible, I don't want to carry on, I'm going to give up, or things like that. But don't, just try to see the, the end result, because sometimes you, you think, oh no, it looks horrible, oh, I'm not going to bother carrying on, but you never know, in the end it might turn out really nice. Okay, so now we're going to the light blue. Always Remember to open up at the top when you have more, where you have more room, and go over the, the dark blue. Okay, so now we come to our last color, which is the light green. So we have this group, so it's easy enough to to see where it should go.
And if you go over the other colors, it's always good because it helps blending them even more. Colored all the the plants the same way I did the first one and the stems I'm gonna show you how to do the the center bit and the stem okay so for the center you're gonna use your lightest green the aqua I think it's called aqua green just fill in everything, it doesn't have to be with a lot of pressure, just to give it a nice, um, a nice coat. And then with the light blue, we're gonna do some shading all around it. You can go a little bit further down to make the colors blend nicely. Okay, and now with the darker blue, we can color this part. And for the middle bit, I've tried. I've. I'm gonna use a, a light yellow. I'm gonna post all the color, the, the pencil numbers for you. Okay. All right. So they're all done now. Let's go for the stem. On the stem, we're going to use the same colors that we used in the plant. So we're starting with the, like these little knots in black. because the stem is behind the, the, the plant. So I've done it all, in all, all of them, a little bit of black, okay? Then you can, you, sorry, let's go a little bit further down. And then you carry on with the darker blue. Go over 
always when you're blending two colors try to go over the last color so the blending becomes more invisible right now the light blue always try to calculate your the spaces you have left so I, um, I'm still gonna need the dark green and the light green so um, should be room enough to add both colors let's go with the darker green going over the top of the blue a little bit coming down and then a little bit here and the aqua green So we're all done with the stems. Now you've noticed I've already done this too, but I'm gonna show you how. With a dark green, oops, sorry, dark green. You just do the, the very top of the plant and then use, it's like a yellowish green to go all the way down and here you can use pressure because you know, like the the bottom of the sea is always colorful and uh, bright, and we want our colors to show, don't we? Okay, so you're gonna do this in all these little plants here, and let's start our fish. At last, <laughs> I love doing the fish. So for the fish, I've I've selected three colors: red, orange, and yellow. So we can start coloring the yellow. Like I say, I always like to start with the light color. So let's color the, the parts of the body. your darkest color you can start doing the shading so we're gonna go all around the fish like this
then we can go back later to reinforce those colors. Now with the orange we are gonna fill in the spaces going over the the red and coming down to the yellow make sure you don't cover all the yellow area because you want to leave that light um, showing through the fish seems to be ready but it's not <laughs> we have to do a little bit of shadow you know where the scales are we're gonna use our red this makes it this gives it more depth depth missing also we can reinforce the yellow areas now And there you go, so here's our first fish. I hope you like it. But like I said, you can always change the colors. What is good about Lost Ocean? Um, when, when you have a picture like this, pages like this, you, you don't have to worry about a color scheme too much because you know the bottom of the sea like I said is always colorful and nice and you don't need to worry about adding on too many colors right now for these two plants I've chosen um, a dark purple and a light one so let's do the You do the top of the leaf, leaf, 
and come down start with start with a lot of pressure and then loosen up your hand all right so I'm gonna do this all along I think I'm going to do just this side because you get the idea, right? You repeat the same thing on the other side. And we're going to do the same with the other plant, but here we're going to do the opposite. We're going to start dark here, going to light. to give it a different effect. Right, so this is basically it. I'm gonna finish the other side and then we are done for our first part. I hope you have enjoyed it and enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Have a lovely week and happy coloring. Mm -hmm.